There's over 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe that we might see. Let's look at this galaxy size comparison from small to big. Of course, now here we come. I'm Segway 2, I'm a dwarf spheroidal galaxy situated in the constellation of Aries. My radius is 110.89 light years, they say. Discovered in 2009 by Sloan Digital Sky Survey. My name's Messier 32, a dwarf early type galaxy, am I? 2.65 million light years from Earth, I fly. I was discovered in the year of 1749. I am 6,500 light years across, and that's just fine. I'm small, Magellanic Cloud, or Nubicula Minor, a dwarf irregular. Galaxy, there's nothing finer. I'm near the Milky Way, but not a stone's toss. My diameter's about 7,000 light years across. I'm Triangulum, a spiral galaxy, you see. Sometimes I'm referred to as a pinwheel galaxy. I was discovered officially in 1764. I'm 50,000 light years across. This info is now yours. I'm the Whirlpool Galaxy, also called Messier 51. I'm a spiral galaxy, my arms reach out while I'm spun. I was first discovered in the year of 1773. 76,000 light years is the distance across me. I'm the Milky Way Galaxy, a gigantic spiral disk with a bright central bulge that you can't miss. I'm 100,000 light years, your sun is AKPC from my center. On what is known as Orion's arm, it's a real bender. I'm Hope's Object, a non-typical galaxy of the type known as a ring galaxy, as you can see. 121,000 light years across, bigger than the Milky Way, discovered by author Hogan, 1958. There's over 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe that we might see. Let's look at this galaxy size comparison from small to big. Of course, now here we come. I'm the Cartwheel Galaxy, a lenticular and ring galaxy, discovered by Fritz Wicke in 1941. I'm 150,000 light years across, my beauty is number one. I am M101, also known as the Pinwheel Galaxy, discovered by Pierre Michon in 1781, if you please. I'm 170,000 light years across, nearly twice the size of the Milky Way, now that's quite a toss. I'm the Andromeda Galaxy, a spiral galaxy, I say, in the nearest major galaxy to your Milky Way. My name stems from the constellation of Andromeda. I'm 220,000 light years across, I'll be seeing ya. I'm NGC 6872, also known as Condor Galaxy. I'm a large part spiral galaxy, I'm sure you'd agree. Discovered in 1835 by John Herschel, the boss. I'm very large at 700,000 light years across. I'm the giant temple galaxy, a disrupted part spiral, you see. I was discovered in the year. Of 2018. I'm 10 times the size of the Milky Way that's extremely large, my friend. I'm 1 million light years long from end to end. I'm IC 1101, a supergiant elliptical galaxy. I'm one of the largest known galaxies found in your universe. You see, discovered in the year of 1790 by John Herschel. 6 million light years across with stars, I am full. There's over 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe that we might see. Let's look at this galaxy size comparison from small to big. Of course, now here we come. It's the ninth anniversary of your favorite channel called KLT. I'm excited to announce it's the nine year anniversary of your favorite educational channel, KLT. We want to thank you for your continued support of KLT by having a 10% off site wide sale from March 1st through midnight, March 31st. We love creating content you want to see. It's the ninth anniversary of your favorite channel called KLT. I am the Milky Way Galaxy Look in the night sky to see a part of me I am the Milky 
Way Galaxy Your solar system's just a tiny part of me The Milky Way name came from a Greek goddess named Hera Who spilled milk across the sky Greeks believed in that era When you look at the darkest sky on a clear summer night And you see the image of the Milky Way clear in sight Remember you can only see a small part of me Called the galactic core in my galaxy I was born about 13.6 billion years ago That's a hypothesis given from astronomers though I am 100,000 light years in diameter That's an estimate given by NASA though they can't be sure Your solar system's this tiny dot that you see right here Astronomers think that Orion's first where your system appears I am the Milky Way night sky to see a part of me i am the milky way galaxy your solar system's just a tiny part of me about 230 million years is what your system takes to orbit around the milky way center's cool shape 200 to 400 billion stars live in me that's an estimate only based on our astronomy over 100 in me maybe someday you can see them in our galaxy i am the milky way galaxy look in the night sky to see a part of me i am the milky way galaxy your solar system's just a tiny part of me i'm the milky way a part spiral galaxy now see with an estimated visible diameter of a hundred to two hundred thousand light years across me i'm the milky way this song is about facts of my galaxy i'm not the biggest but i'm the one you call home actually i am the milky way the galaxy you are all a part of your solar system's a small part of me here's more of me you love your galaxy is a gravitationally bound collection of stars and a spiral swirling through space that's what you know about me this far i am one and a in this observable universe let's give some examples of my size in the coming verse i do have a radius which is measured from my center to the edge of me which in light years measures 52,850 when you measure me from one edge across my entirety I'm about a hundred thousand light years across as you can plainly see I do probably contain 100 to 400 billion stars you know that's an estimate that humans created but there could be more to show to give you an example of my size well we'll look to my neighbor and see the spectacle goes by the name of the andromeda galaxy if you measure the andromeda across from one side to the other it's about 220,000 light years wide it's my big brother this is ic 1101 galaxy i will now share it spans as much as four million light years that's a lot bigger if we're compared there are a lot of other things bigger than this called super clusters 
Lani Ikea is a good example. I am part of its heart to muster. The Lani Ikea super cluster is thought to be in size. 520 million light years an estimate humans had comprised. The next time you think Earth is the center of the universe, you know. Remember you're just a speck floating in trillions of galaxies in a space unknown. I am the Milky Way Galaxy Look in the night sky to see a part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy Your solar system's just a tiny part of me The Milky Way name came from a Greek goddess named Hera Who spilled milk across the sky Greeks believed in that era When you look at the darkest sky on a clear summer night And you see the image of the Milky Way clear in sight Remember you can only see a small part of me Called the galactic core in my galaxy Astronomers can't look at me from outside the galaxy Because I'm so massive and you don't have the technology Based on other galaxies we see outside of our own Is why we conclude that our galaxy spiraled as I'm shown When you look at a side view of the Milky Way here you see me as a flat disc with a bulge center I appear I am the Milky Way Galaxy Look in the night sky to see a part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy Your solar system's just a tiny part of me I was born about 13.6 billion years Ago. That's a hypothesis given from astronomers though I am 100,000 light years in diameter That's an estimate given by NASA though they can't be sure Your solar system's this tiny dot that you see right here Astronomers think that Orion's first where your system appears Your system's guessed to be 25,000 light years From the galactic center of the Milky Way shown here About 200 30 million years is what your system takes to orbit around the Milky Way center's cool shape. 200 to 400 billion stars live in me, that's an estimate only based on our astronomy. Over 100 billion planets might exist in me, maybe someday you can see them in our galaxy. I am the Milky Way Galaxy. Look in the night sky to see a part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy Your solar system's just a tiny part of me Let's take a look at all the parts that you think I'm made of We'll start by looking down at the galaxy above The galactic core's the rotational center you can't see Because of the interstellar dust it cannot be studied it's believed the center is a supermassive black hole When astronomers find out more than I will let you know You'll notice the galactic bar and also the long bar There's the three KPC arms, there is a near and there's a far Then we have the Sagittarius and the Norma arms Then the Orion spur where your solar system spins on The Scutum Centaurus and Perseus arm Spirals and full of the galaxy's charm Finally the outer arm and the new outer arm Are the final spirals I will mention in this song I am the Milky Way Galaxy Look in the night sky to see a part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy Your solar system's just a tiny part of me I am the Milky Way Gotta see a part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy Your solar system's just a tiny part of me A galactic tides, a tidal force so real 
experienced by objects by gravitational field of a galaxy such as the Milky Way. But these types of tides only happen in space. There are particular areas concerning galactic tides like galactic collisions when two galaxies collide. The disruption of a dwarf or a starlight galaxy which creates a new elliptical super galaxy. These tidal effects are usually limited to the immediate surroundings of a galaxy, it is true. In theory, in about 5 billion years, astronomers have theorized our galaxy's biggest fears. Astronomers think the Milky Way will be pulled by gravity towards Andromeda, the nearest galaxy. A galactic tide will pull these two galaxies in a close encounter to each other through gravity. When this happens, the center of the galaxies will certainly merge, pouring gas towards the center, igniting an explosion for sure. This will create star formation a hundred times faster than a galaxy does today, says the astronomers. For example, take our tides in the ocean, attracted to the gravitational pull from the moon's motion. When the moon is on one side of the earth, the ocean is higher on that side, pulled by the moon's gravitational force. The galactic tide is similar, you can see. It all has to do with this thing called gravity. A galactic tides, a tidal force so real, experienced by objects, by gravitational field of a galaxy such as the Milky Way. But these types of tides only happen in space. I am UI Scutai. The largest star in our galaxy, find me in the night sky. I am UI Scutai. A red supergiant in the Scutum constellation, am I? I was first cataloged in 1860 by German astronomers at Bonn Observatory. I was named BD 12. Until my second survey, I was found to be slightly more bright. That's when I was named UI Scutai, the 38th variable star of the constellation Scutum. Am I? I'm the largest known star in the Milky Way galaxy. But because I'm so far from Earth, you need a telescope to see me. I'm 30 times the sun's mass, but I have a radius more than 1700 times greater than the Earth's sun I span. I am UI Scutai, the largest star in our galaxy. Find me in the night sky. I am UI Scutai, a red supergiant in the Scutum constellation. Am I? I'm 9,500 light years away from your Earth. One light year equals about 5.88 trillion miles for what that's worth. I'm known to be one of the most luminous stars and I am a red super giant. I hope you like me so far. I'm close to the supermassive black hole Sagittarius A, galactic center which is the center of our galaxy. I'm so large if you replaced your sun with me. My photosphere would span past Jupiter's orbit as you can see. I began to fuse helium and continue to fuse hydrogen in the shell around my core based on models of stellar evolution. After fusing heavy elements, my core will begin to produce iron, disrupting the balance of gravity and radiation in its core and resulting in a core collapse supernova, which is expected in stars like me. Look for me in the night sky within your galaxy. I am UI Scutai. The largest star in our galaxy, find me in the night sky. I am UI Scutai, a red supergiant in the Scutum constellation. Am I? I am UI Scutai, the largest star in our galaxy, find me in the night sky. I am UI Scutai. A red super giant in the Scutum constellation, am I?
There's over 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe that we might see. Let's look at this galaxy size comparison from small to big. Of course, now here we come. I'm Segway 2, I'm a dwarf spheroidal galaxy Situated in the constellation of Aries My radius is 110.89 light years they say Discovered in 2009 by Sloan Digital Sky Survey My name's Messier32, a dwarf early type galaxy Am I 2.65 million light years from Earth I fly I was discovered in the year of 1749 I am 6500 light years are crossing that's just fine i'm small magellanic cloud or nubicula minor a dwarf irregular galaxy there's nothing finer i'm near the milky way but not a stone's toss my diameter's about 7,000 light years across i'm triangulum a spiral galaxy you see sometimes i'm referred to as a pinwheel galaxy i was discovered officially in 1764 I'm 50,000 light years across This info is now yours I'm the Whirlpool Galaxy Also called Messier 51 I'm a spiral galaxy My arms reach out while I'm spun I was first discovered in the year of 1773 76,000 light years is the distance across me I'm the Milky Way Galaxy A gigantic spiral disk With a bright central bulge That you can't miss I'm 100,000 light years your son is AKPC from my center on what is known as Orion's arm. It's a real bender. I'm Hope's object, a non typical galaxy of the type known as the Ring Galaxy, as you can see. 121,000 light years across, bigger than the Milky Way, discovered by author Hogan 1958. There's over 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe that we might see. Let's look at this galaxy size comparison from small to big. Of course, now here we come. I'm the Cartwheel Galaxy, a lenticular and ring galaxy. Discovered by Fritz Wicke in 1941. I'm 150,000 light years across, my beauty is number one. I am M101, also known as the Pinwheel Galaxy. Discovered by Pierre Michon in 1781, if you please. I'm 170,000 light years across, nearly twice the size of the Milky Way. Now that's quite a toss. I'm the Andromeda Galaxy, a spiral galaxy, I say. In the nearest major galaxy to your Milky Way. My name stems from the constellation of Andromeda. I'm 220,000 light years across, I'll be seeing ya. I'm NGC 6872, also known as Condor Galaxy. I'm a large part spiral galaxy, I'm sure you'd agree. Discovered in 1835 by John Herschel, the boss. I'm very large at 700,000 light years across. I'm the giant temple galaxy, a disrupted part spiral. You see, I was discovered in the year of 2018 i'm 10 times the size of the milky way that's extremely large my friend i'm 1 million light years long from end to end i'm ic 1101 a supergiant elliptical galaxy i'm one of the largest known galaxies found in your universe you see discovered in the year of 1790 by john herschel six million light years across what stars i am full there's over 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe that we might see let's look at this galaxy size comparison from small to big of course now here we come i am the earth the only planet with organic life with 8.7 million species we all fight to survive you all live And keep this planet really healthy so that we can all thrive My atmosphere is 78% nitrogen Another 21% of it is oxygen Another small percentage is of other elements Without my atmosphere around you would be fresh 
we're all stars, we're all stars compared to each other by size. You can see a lot of us when you look into the night sky. We're all stars, we're all stars, our colors vary, you know. We're made mostly of hydrogen and helium, here we go. I'm the Crab Pulsar, a young neutron star. I'm Calvera, an isolated neutron star that's far. My name's Bela X1, I'm a neutron star as well. Sirius B, that's me, a small white dwarf as you can tell. I'm EBLMJ 555-57AB. My name's Trappist 1, an ultra cool red dwarf star in sight. I'm Proxima Centauri, a main sequence red dwarf star. I am your son, a yellow dwarf that isn't too far. Alpha Centauri A is an orange star, you see. I am Sirius A, a main sequence star, that's me. We're all stars, we're all stars, compared to each other by size. You can see a lot of us when you look into the night sky. We're all stars, we're all stars, our colors vary, you know. We're made mostly of hydrogen and helium, here we go. VFTS-352, contact binary 1 and 2. Composed of two very hot brain massive stars that orbit each other, it's true. My name is Pollux, a red giant star here. Arcturus is a red giant star, I hope I made that clear. R-136A1 is a wolf riot star thus far. I'm Aldebaran, a red giant star, that's me. Rigel is here, a blue-white supergiant you can see. I am Beetlejuice and I'm a red supergiant in class. V.Y. Canis Majoris, a red hypergiant star with mass. I'm U.I. Scutai, the biggest red supergiant this far. Join us to sing the chorus, now get your head out of the stars. We're all stars, we're all stars, compared to each other by size. You can see a lot of us when you look into the night sky. We're all stars, we're all stars, our colors vary, you know. We're made mostly of hydrogen and helium, here we go. We're all stars, we're all stars compared to each other by size you can see a lot of us when you look into the night sky we're all stars we're all stars our colors vary you know we're made mostly of hydrogen and helium here we go earth has a second moon it's me provisionally designated 2016 HO3 Kamu Avrava is thought to be an asteroid, but that may have changed with new facts that we can avoid. I was first spotted in April of 2016 by Pan Stars Asteroid Survey Telescope. You now see this telescope is located on Haleakala in Hawaii, which is all part of the Haleakala Observatory. When I was discovered orbiting the Earth in a weird way, Kamu'u Alava was the name they gave me, even though it is extremely Hard to say. I am very small compared to Earth's moon, measuring 164 feet across. I'm tiny, it's true. I circle the Earth in a repeating corkscrew like trajectory, never closer than 40 to 100 times the 239,000 mile distance of your moon, you see. I'm odd, and this is why I don't reflect brightly in certain infrared frequencies or to the eye like other asteroids do. I'm a quirky satellite, and this is true. Because of this, researchers are starting to agree I may be a chip off your known moon flying free. Basically, what you're seeing is a flying silicate caused by micrometeorite impact in the space environment. 
It's possible when space rocks hit the moon at a high degree. When I was ejected into space, I am lunar debris. I am a near-Earth object, also known as Neo, part of a group of near-Earth asteroids called Apollo. I'm an object in a specific type of cold orbital configuration with a planet. I'm called a quasi-satellite. I know it's weird, but I didn't plan it. Earth has a second moon. It's me, provisionally designated. 2016 HO3 Kamul Avrava is thought to be an asteroid, but that may have changed with new facts that we can avoid. Let's visit the planet of Mars. There's so much to learn on the planet of Mars. The red planet in a billion stars Come and sing along about the planet of Mars On the fourth planet from our burning sun And the second smallest planet in our solar system I have the tallest mountain named Olympus Mons It's the biggest volcano in our whole system Phobos and Demos are my two moons Phobos is larger of the orbiting two It circles me three times a day and that's true But it takes 30 hours for Demos to loop Let's visit the planet of Mars There's so much to learn on the planet of Mars The red planet in a billion stars Come and sing along about the planet of Mars I'm 142 million miles away From the sun and its heat and that's why I'm Chile When you're on my surface and you probably freeze I am a cold negative 81 degrees 24 hours and 37 minutes long It's a full day on Mars so you've learned Song 687 is the amount of days it takes to orbit the sun for my year to take place. Let's visit the planet of Mars. There is so much to learn on the planet of Mars. The red planet in a billion stars. Come and sing along about the planet of Mars. Let's visit the planet of Mars. There is so much to learn on the planet of Mars. The red planet in a billion stars Come and sing along about the planet of Mars I am the first planet from our sun, you see. My name is Mercury, nothing orbits faster than me. The smallest planet with the second hottest degree. My name is Mercury, no one is smaller than me. Messenger of the gods is what Mercury means. The Romans gave me my name, cause I'm the fastest they'd seen. A bit bigger I be than the Earth's moon that you see To fill the Earth one time, it would take 18 of me I am the first planet from our sun that beams But I'm the second hottest, I can reach 800 degrees 88 Earth days is the amount that I take To orbit our sun once, that makes one year on me I am the first planet from our sun you see My name is Mercury Nothing orbits faster than me The smallest planet with The second hottest degree My name is Mercury No one is smaller than me 59 Earth days equals one day on me My surface is made of stone Covered in craters you see Oxygen, sodium, hydrogen, helium, and potassium Make up my exosphere I have no moons and I have no rings But I'm the second densest planet amongst other things I am the first planet from our sun you see My name is Mercury, nothing orbits faster than me The smallest planet with the second hottest degree my name is Mercury, no one is smaller than me.
my 62 moons, 53 are named. I am a gas giant, all astronomers claim. 36,184 is my radius of miles for you to explore. 10.44 meters, that's per second you drop. That's my gravity pulling towards my surface top. 10 hours and 39 minutes long is a day on my surface. Let's sing this song. I am Saturn, the sixth planet from the sun. I'm known for above 26.7 is the amount of degrees to spin on my axis i'm so cold that you freeze i am saturn the sixth planet from the sun i'm known for my rings by everyone i'm the second largest planet in our solar system please come sing along until my teachings are done i am saturn the sixth planet from the sun i'm known for my rings by everyone i'm the second largest planet in our solar system please come sing along My name is Neptune, the eighth planet from our burning sun. I've got six rings made of dust and some rocky chunks. I got my name from the Romans, it means God of the sea. My upper atmosphere has methane, that's why I have blue on me. Hydrogen and helium are the rest of my atmosphere. I have 13 moons with one still waiting to confirm it's here. Mine is 392 degrees, an average day on me. And my winds are the strongest than any planet in our system. See, my name is Neptune, the eighth planet from our burning sun. I've got six rings made of dust and some rocky chunks. About 165 Earth years makes one Neptunian year. 57.7 Earths could fit in my giant sphere. 2.8 billion miles is my distance from our sun. One day on me is about 16 Earth hours of cold fun. No life as we know it could survive on me. I'm the fourth largest planet in our system, you'd have to agree. My name is Neptune, the eighth planet from our burning sun. I've got six rings made of dust and some rocky chunks. I am Venus, I'm the second planet from the sun And I'm the slowest rotating one Of all the planets in our solar system Now learn and have some fun 243 Earth days is how long it takes for me to orbit the sun That makes just one of my days I'm 900 degrees, yeah that's Fahrenheit I'm the hottest planet in the solar system, that's right The sun sets in my east and comes up in my west Due to retrograde rotation, I spin backwards the best I'm the third brightest object to the naked eye From the planet of Earth when you look up in the sky I am Venus, I'm the second planet from the sun And I'm the slowest rotating one of all the planets in our solar system Now learn and have some fun Carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid clouds Is what makes up my atmosphere And for this I am very proud Volcanoes, mountains, craters, and some big lava plains Are what make up my bumpy surface And my clouds make no rain I was named Venus after the goddess of love The Romans gave me my name due to my brightness above I am Venus, I'm the second planet from the sun And I'm the slowest rotating one Of all the planets in our solar system Now learn and have some fun
My name is Jupiter, the biggest planet you see. No planet in our solar system is bigger than me. My name is Jupiter, a windy planet I be. And I have 67 moons that rotate around me so free. The Romans gave me my name after their king of the gods because my size is so massive in the sea of the stars. Callisto, you Short as they come, it takes 12 Earth years for me to warm at the sun. That makes one year on my surface. That's a really long run. My name is Jupiter, the biggest planet you see. No planet in our solar system is bigger than me. My name is Jupiter, a windy planet I be. And I have 67 moons that rotate around me so free. Sun, how bizarre that much mass would cause a pressure and temperature within me to cause hydrogen to fuse with helium, creating energy. My gravity is 2.4 times more than Earth, so what does that mean? Weighing a hundred pounds on Earth is 240 pounds on me. My name is Jupiter, the biggest planet you see. No planet in our solar system is bigger than me. My name is Jupiter. I'm a star called the sun I'm the center of our solar system You revolve around me As we fly around the galaxy All of the planets in our solar system They orbit well, they follow me 230 Time I take to fly around the Milky Way galaxy. I don't have a solid surface, so made up of gases held together by my own gravity. I'm made of 92.1% hydrogen H2 and 7.8% helium Ag. I'm a star called the Sun. Center of our solar system You revolve around me As we fly around the galaxy My core is 25% of my total mass And 27 million degrees My energy is the reason there is life on Earth There'll be no charge Cause I'm totally free My mass makes up 99.8% of our solar system Nothing in our system's hot as me I'm a star called the sun I'm the center of our solar system You revolve around me As we fly around
My name is Eries. I am a dwarf planet. The furthest north from the sun the humans found yet. On January 5th in 2005, the Caltech Observatory had brought me to life. A team led by astronomer Michael Ground, the biggest dwarf in mass is what they had found. They believe my surface is covered in nitrogen ice, but you'd have to visit me to make sure that's precise. In 2006, the IAU named me and gave me dwarf status, yeah, officially. My name is Eries. I am a dwarf planet. The furthest north from the sun the humans found yet. Minus 390 is my average degree. If you made it to my surface, then you'd probably freeze. The snow me is my one natural satellite sea. It means lawlessness and it is always orbiting me. I'm 27% more massive than your Pluto. Yeah, Pluto is slightly larger than I am, you know. I take 500 Sun. 
My name's Hygieia, minor planet, designation 10 Hygieia, a door planet candidate in the asteroid belt, it's nice to meet ya. Discovered by Annibale de Gasparisa, on the 12th of April in 1849 I did teach ya. Discovered at the Astronomical Observatory of Caparamonte is where I was first seen. I'm located in the main asteroid belt Between Jupiter and Mars is where I am felt I do have a diameter of 270 miles Or 434 kilometers all the while I have a mass which is 3% of the total mass of the asteroid belt And the fourth largest asteroid by volume and mass in your system dealt It's possible I'm a dwarf planet but no one knows for sure So the IAU has classified me as an asteroid until they're assured Observations with a very large telescope in 2018 revealed that I'm nearly spherical in which I'm so keen I have a dark surface when observed from the Earth This is because of my position in in the outer main belt, of course. I was named Hygieia after the goddess of health, which is a Greek goddess as well as Roman, I tell. It takes me 2,033 Earth days to orbit the sun at 16.76 kilometers per second. I come as close as 2.79 AU to the sun on my run and reaching as far as 3.49 AU from the sun. I'm 1.78 AU from Earth's orbit at my closest point. There's an extremely wide berth between Hygieia and Earth is my point. Hygieia's small main belt asteroid spectroscopic survey is observed with the 2.4 meter Hiltner telescope primarily. This mass 2 observation indicates I may contain water and iron but wait. Also nickel, ammonia, cobalt, and nitrogen. That's a lot of new information about me for the win. My properties are the least known out of the big four objects in the main belt humans have explored. Designations 2015 TG387. I'm nicknamed the Goblin now. Let's begin. An extreme trans Neptunian object in a sedoid in the outer solar system is what I am. I can't avoid. I was nicknamed the Goblin because of the TG in my name and because I was discovered near Halloween in 2015. October 2015 was when I was discovered by astronomers at the MKO is how I was uncovered. My discovery was made by Chad Trujillo, David Tholin, and Scott Shepard, you know. I was discovered using the Subaru telescope. They also probed with the Blanco 4M telescope looking out from the globe. 541,132. Lalia Kuanua is my official name. I have trouble saying it too. I never come within 80 astronomical units to the sun and I get as far as 2300 AU from the sun on my run. You think a year on earth is long? Well, mine is longer. I admit 35,760 is one year in my orbit. I have a very elongated orbit along with Sedna on my trek. Astronomers believe this orbit exists because of hypothetical planet X. I never come near the major outer planets. Astronomers have checked. 541,132. Lalia Kuanua. That's my name. It is true. My provisional designations 2015 TG387. I'm nicknamed the Goblin. Now let's begin. There's probably 10,000 small dwarf-like planets in our outer 
Jupiter solar system beyond Pluto. Now, isn't that fun? These dwarf like planets are very small, that makes them hard to uncover. With technology improving, you could be the one to discover. 541,132. Lalia Kuanua, that's my name, it is true. My provisional designation's 2015 TG387. I'm nicknamed the Goblin, now let's begin. I'm 20,000 Varuna, I'm here to teach you correct I was classified as a trans-Neptunian object I'm 20,000 Varuna, you can call me Varuna for short I am oval in shape, and I'm here to teach in report My name is 20,000 Varuna, I'm sure your eyes are transfixed My provisional designation's 2000 WR106 I was discovered in December in the year of 2000 By American astronomer Robert S. McMillan During a space watch at KPNO I have an elongated shape due to my rapid rotation as shown I was named after the Hindu deity Varuna is my name, please say it back to me I'm 20,000 Varuna, I'm here to teach you correct I was classified as a trans-Neptunian object I'm 20,000 Varuna, you can call me Varuna for short I am oval in shape, and I'm here to teach in report I'm a possible dwarf planet located in the Kuiper Belt In the outer solar system is where my presence is felt Info from my light curve says I'm a Jacobi ellipsoid My elongated shapes due to my rapid rotation among the asteroids My rapid rotation period is 6.34 hours January 2001 is when it was first measured The color of my surface is moderately red due to the complex organic compounds astronomers said water ice is thought to be present on my surface because of past collisions I was exposed now you're learning this no natural satellites have been recorded around me yet but in 2019 I may have a satellite astronomer suggest I'm 20,000 Varuna, I'm here to teach you correct I was classified as a trans-Neptunian object I'm 20,000 Varuna, you can call me Varuna for short I am oval in shape, and I'm here to teach in report 120,347 Salacia I'm a trans-Neptunian object, it's real nice to meet ya My provisional designation is 2004 SP60 Listen to my song if you want to learn more about me I was discovered on September 22nd, 2004 By American astronomers, they're worth three for sure Their names are Henry Rowe, Michael Brown, and Christina Barcoon While working at the Palomar Observatory this is true My provisional designation's 2004 SB60 I'm a trans-Neptunian object as you can see I'm located within the Kuiper Belt in the outer solar system 850 kilometers in diameter I'm spun 120,347 Salacia I'm a trans-Neptunian object It's real nice to meet ya My provisional designation is 2004 SB60 Listen to my song if you want to learn more about me Located 44.8 astronomical units from the sun I've been observed 124 times with recovery images on my run My orbital distance is slightly greater than Pluto I orbit 272 years of this I will show I was named after the Roman goddess Lacia you have learned My radius is 281 miles as I turn I have a single known moon name Actaea here Its diameter is 190 miles as it appears Actaea is one third of the diameter of me you see Michael Brown thinks I'm a dwarf planet But it's debated theory 
120,347 salacia I'm a trans-Neptunian object, it's real nice to meet ya My provisional designation is 2004 SP60 Listen to my song if you want to learn more about me 120,347 salacia I'm a trans-Neptunian object, it's real nice to meet ya My provisional designation is 2004 SP60 Listen to my song if you want to learn more about me. Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. Ever wonder how small we are in the scale of the universe? Let's look into the night sky as we explore and traverse. The sky is fast and hard to comprehend, so let's take a look at a small piece of it, the size of a grain of rice instead. That's the size of the spot the Hubble Space Telescope did take with 150 hours of exposure of that area with no break. And over 3,000 galaxies is what astronomers have found in the section of that grain of rice in the deep field image wow so how small are we in the scale of the universe let's look at some examples as we learn more from this course these 3,000 galaxies in that speck of space only accounts for one two millionth of this place our planet earth everything we have ever known has a diameter of 1300 kilometers it is shown the sun has a full diameter of one million four hundred thousand kilometers that's about 110 times the Earth, I am sure. The Milky Way holds 100 to 400 billion stars, including our sun. Now compare that to the deep field image from the Hubble just for fun. Each of the 3,000 galaxies caught in the deep field image we see contains about a billion stars inside, at the very least. So later, scientists adjusted the optics on the Hubble telescope, taking another long exposure over about four months with hope. The results were 10,000 galaxies, the Hubble did observe, known as the Extreme Deep Field Image, or XDF in short. After 10 years of photographs taken were combined, the XDF shows galaxies so distant you'd never see them with your eye. Ever wonder how small we are in the scale of the universe? Let's look into the night sky as we explore and traverse. Thanks for watching KLT! Please subscribe to this channel, like our videos, and check out the KLT Merch Store!